Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. So today we're doing an energy consumption test between our PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. Here in the login screen, we have 68.9, 68.5 watts for the PlayStation 5 Slim. Xbox Series X, we have 65.5 watts. So far, the Xbox has a lower energy consumption than the PlayStation 5. And I do apologize for the lighting on the screen. I kind of pointed the light so that we can all see the meters on the in the video so once we're logged in looks like the playstation 5 slim is pulling around 67 68 watts and the xbox series x is about 65.5 65.7 watts so i'm trying to move the uh controller around just to uh see if it's going to change anything and it didn't really do much so let's get into our uh game disc testing so I installed Assassin's Creed Valhalla on both. Right now the Xbox Series X is running at 120 watts, PS5 158 watts. So Xbox is running a little bit lower than the PlayStation 5. So we're here for the setup, menu narration. Oh by the way, for the TVs itself, we are running 224 inch Full HD 1080p. Insignia TVs. So they're both 24 inches and they're both 1080p TVs. So one of them is a little lower the way I have it set up um, because that's for like other consoles and stuff. But right now, image calibration, we have 121 watts for the Xbox and 154 watts for the PlayStation 5. Let's go through the, uh, the game menu so that we can get into some gameplay. Also, yeah, so the only thing plugs in, plugged into the uh, the watt meters are the consoles only. So, so the TVs are plugged in elsewhere. So it shouldn't affect any of our results here. So here, let's start a new game. And I did mute both of the TVs, just in case. Let's go for easy stealth difficulty. And let's get into some cutscenes. Cutscenes, we have 102 watts for PS5 Slim. 92 watts for the Xbox, so I can see that the PS5 uh, went down a little bit to like 100, 100 versus 92 watts, so Xbox is still lower than the PlayStation 5. I'm going to let it play along for a little bit longer. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, looks like we got around 91, 92 for the Xbox, 99 watts for the PlayStation. So Xbox, again, with the uh, lower energy consumption. Let's go into some gameplay. So I am trying to control the character with two hands, two controllers. So we got 200 watts for the PlayStation 5 Slim, 153 watts for the Xbox. Again, Xbox, again, with the lower power consumption. So let's uh, walk around a little bit. Let's give it a try. I've never played this game before, so I don't really know what I'm doing. So let's try the dance thing here. All right. <laughs> All right, so uh, during this gameplay, what we got is 201 watts for the PS5 Slim, 153 watts for the Xbox. So I'm gonna let it run for a little bit longer and then we're going to move on to a, a different test. All right, so let's do a Blu-ray test here. Let's load up Dragon Ball on the Xbox and Naruto um, on the PS5 Slim. So, so far on the menu for these Blu-rays, we have 45 watts for the Xbox, 47 watts for the PlayStation 5. So again, Xbox again with the lower power consumption. Or should I say energy consumption? And let's start the movies. So uh, for the playback for the Blu-rays, we got 47.6 watts for the PS5 and 45 watts, 44 watts for the Xbox. So Xbox, again, is a little bit lower than our PlayStation 5 Slim. So it does fluctuate a little bit, but not by much.
All right, so I guess it's time for us to do a final test. PS5 Slim, we're going to go into rest mode. Xbox Series X, we're going to go into sleep mode. So let's do it. So 2.4 watts for the PlayStation 5 Slim, 7.6 watts for the Xbox Series X. What's weird is the Xbox Series X, um, it didn't immediately drop down. It was stuck at like 40 watts and then like 29 watts for a little bit. And then it took a few minutes for it to drop down to around 7 watts for the Xbox Series X. Either way, um, I guess in rest mode, the PS5 Slim uses less energy than the Xbox Series X.